Hey yo, it's Brain Lord. Welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War as Venice and Milan or uh, Bradenia or Lordia. Bradenia and Lordia. Uh, that, that, that. Uh, if you remember last time we started off, we took a couple rebel provinces. Venice took uh, Zagreb and uh, Milan took Ajaccio. So, we've expanded. And now uh, we put Bologna under siege here. Milan forces, and then next turn we'll move our Venetian forces to assist. And uh, they have their faction leader in here. But I see a unit of peasants, so I think we'll be okay. And there isn't too many good buildings going on there, but, uh, you know, it'll be worth taking. So. An honor, ally. Yeah, next turn I'll be able to move Councilor Bartolomeo yes, down there. And I think we moved all our agents last time. Yeah, I think we did. So I think we're good on that front. So I'm going to save it. And end the turn. Let me just check here. Nope. Just making sure we couldn't retrain anything. And turn ended. I bring word from ah, Hungary wants to talk to Bredenia here. They want trade rights and map information. Or they want this to give us their map information. I shall not uh, let's see if we can get an alliance. That'll be kind of cool. Well there we go. Okay, we got an alliance with Hungary. Uh, Hungary is north of the Byzantine Empire, so they might be able to help us out here. As you can see, they start with uh, three regions, I believe. This one, this one, and this one, yeah. And they might be able to help us out with the Byzantine Empire, so making allies with them is probably a good idea. Move our spy down here, and there is the city of Corinth. Uh, yeah, as opposed to, like, Rome Total War, where there's about, you know, like, ten, seven, seven, eight settlements in this area. You know, you got like three in southern Greece, and you got multiple up here. There's only a couple of settlements in actual Greece in Real 2 Total War. And more of the settlements are focused in like Western Europe and stuff. And uh, in Heraklion, Irak we're going to build a uh, town guard so we can get some better troops here. Because uh, this is going to be kind of on our, one of our bases of operations, even though it's just a town. But uh, we're going to need to launch attacks from there. And relations with Hungary have improved. And Britannia and Hungary have got an alliance. We still have the top military power. So that's pretty cool. And now we can move Bartolomeo over here to Bologna. And uh, he should end up right next. We want them right next to each other so that uh, they'll be in battle with each They'll be able to assist each other no matter what, basically. So There we go. Maintain siege, and uh, we should be able to take that soon. Whole Roman Empire is not happy at us, of course, because uh, we're at war with them. And, uh, yeah, we got two big forces there attacking Bologna, and we should be able to take that down. And we can move our diplomat over here. Uh, there's Naples. We can go talk to them next turn. I kind of missed, missed it a little bit, but that's okay. And uh, I think that's pretty good for Venice this turn. There's the German prince. There's a Sicilian prince. Uh... This guy still needs to convert these regions here. Very well of you. So we'll keep him there. And Zagreb is going to grow next turn, so that's kind of nice. Build another good town. I'm going to save it. And uh, actually, we should build a diplomat here. I want to have two diplomats uh, from each of our nations right next to each other so they can. So if I need to, like, trade stuff, you know, we can do that. If we need to. If one of them needs financial help or if they. If I need to transfer a region or something. You know, we can do that without too much trouble. And then Genoa are going to build a mining network. Finish off our mines there. And uh, Bredenia is at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Bredenia is allied with Hungary. We've established that last turn, but now we can see that. And uh, Jacquio is going to grow into a wooden castle next turn. And uh, it might be able to grow into a normal castle. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know the rules for how, how castles upgrade. I know they're much different than cities. And as far as they upgraded, if, if you guys know how castles upgrade, you could leave a comment because I I don't know. I know cities follow the same rules that they do in Rome Total War as far as uh, population requirements. It just it doesn't tell you how much they need to grow up, but uh, it's it's the same amount. And uh, next turn, I want to I want to give uh, Bredenia some money from Lordia, but I want I want to give it from Lordia, so it has to be Lordia's turn because otherwise. Uh, the relations will worsen if I uh, ask for a demand from Bredenia. So, there's that. And, yeah. Looking pretty good. So, we're going to save it. We did train some mountain sergeants. Yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. And a Jacquel. And uh, 
we're gonna end the turn. I speak on behalf and uh, of the Germans want a ceasefire. Hmm. Can we get something for this? Uh, maybe we can get. Maybe we can get baloney. No, it turns out baloney is not on this list. Maybe is baloney their capital? No, it can't be. I don't think it is. That'd be weird. Maybe they just can't give baloney for some reason. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, maybe because, uh... Since, uh, Bredenia is sieging it, that would cause some weird glitches. Uh, oh well. But, uh, we'll try to get 10,000. Oh, and we got 10,000 florins! There we go. Nice. So we got, got a ceasefire. 10,000 florins. And, uh, France also wants to trade with us. So we'll take that. That's fine. Merci pour accepting, and uh, we'll try to get some map information so we can see you over there. I think not, my lord. Uh, yeah, we can give him a thousand florins. And the turn. And there we go. Now, we see, we haven't lost... Apparently, they're hiding there. Uh, but we haven't lost any turns at sieging because Venice is still under siege. So if we can wait until next turn, we'll... Oh, the Callus guy's a good commander. Yeah, we're gonna have to build some more military here, and we might send this guy out to attack, like, Rhodes or something. That would probably be a good use of this guy. So I think we'll do that pretty soon. Hostility cease, but not for long. And, uh, one palisade upgrade in Zagreb, so we can build some roads. That's all we can afford. We're dirt poor, but, uh, that's okay. Everything else is looking a-okay, except the fact that we're poor as as a uh, crap but you know that's okay get rid of a couple more of these ships i'd like to have ships over here and ships over at our island over at creek but uh will be with us, men. To battle. no matter My lord, we await your order to and uh we'll have milan siege again and then we'll break the siege with venice so that venice isn't the uh, one that will take the city and then you know it'll be good from there so i'm gonna save it and sorry guys i had uh Go deal with my dog real quick. But, uh, there we go. And the turn. And, uh, we can siege Asmalon once again. And let's see. Town guard constructed. And there we go. We can build a castle, so I don't know. It's definitely not tied on population, I don't think. Because it has a pretty low population. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what decides whether it can upgrade to a castle or not. But it's kind of cool that it can. So... We can build a couple more units in Lordia. And we can build... Um, I guess a mark would probably be the best. No, wait. Who? Caratio Standard. Caratio. Interesting. Uh, well, we might get this Counselor's Chambers because we need some more, a little more happiness here. And uh, those Caratio Standards seem interesting. I don't know if I'll use them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, we're going to give some money to Bredenia. Uh, I can probably give him about 5,000. We just got an extra 10,000 for pretty much free, so yeah, we can give him that. Offer his gift, and, uh, there we go. All I have to do is accept that, and we'll be good. And we'll keep the diplomat there. We can have the diplomat stationed at Bredenia. And we're going to move this guy up. Uh, we could go talk to... F we already did talk to France, I suppose. So we can go up north and talk to, like, Denmark and Britain and stuff. We'll move our spy up and explore over here. There's, as you can see, England has some of this territory. They start with that. but uh, So we'll go explore there in the Dijon region there. There's a couple rebel settlements in the middle of all of us. that I kind of want to take one of them, at least. But... Uh, I'm going to send these ships down here, and uh, we're going to try to get some of these knights into the boats and uh, join them up with one of our family members, and and we'll go attack Florence. Anyway, we'll, we'll siege Bologna once more, and uh, we are at war again. That's fine. So they just gave us $10,000 for nothing, and you're going to end the turn... And it looks good. To and there we go. There's the offer of 5,000 florins for free. 
There we go. And uh, just looking at our reputations and stuff. All is good. An extra five thousand. We all only had. Uh, we would have only had like nine hundred. So that's kind of helpful. And Zagreb can probably build. Yeah, let's build a church because they're having trouble converting. So church would probably be a good idea. And uh, in Venice or Bredenia, we can build. See, I don't think Merchant Wharf and Docks are going to really be that important because we don't have too much sea trade yet. So I'm thinking we're going to go for paved roads. Would probably be the best bet. And uh, we can move our spy over here. Try to get over to Constantinople and see what's going on there. And I still haven't taken this Earl Town, so maybe we'll have a shot at it, actually. Uh, possibly. We'll see. And Cristiano Selvo and Antonio Selvo yes. here. We'll take Antonio with a few garrison of troops here and send them out towards Rhodes, which is right here. And oh! Shoot, 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 shoot. What are the chances? Come come on, man. Really? Whatever. And our uh, relations with Hungary improved. Already has declared war against the World Roman Empire. Uh, so we'll probably lose that ship battle and get sent back but uh, that's okay and, uh, we'll break the siege with Venice so that it resets to Milan's control and then we'll build some more siege equipment to help and uh, as you can see there is a heretic which we can take down with our cardinal on uh, Lordia's turn next and things in Bredenia are looking pretty good four upkeep units and that's what we have so that's nice got the diplomat station in there to talk to our Kind of our partners, so that's fine. And I'm thinking we're gonna build some spear militia over in Ragusa, just for some garrison there, because it's kind of low. And if B the Byzantines decide to attack us, you know, we need to have some kind of garrison there. So some spear troops would be nice. And I'll get up to max upkeep units there, max free upkeep units, and I'll build a diplomat. Uh, we can go start talking to like the Muslim nations and stuff. That would be interesting. And we actually haven't sent an emissary to the Byzantians yet, so we can get some trade rights if, you, if we want. So, uh, Trade rights and map information with Sicily, there we go. Pretty nice. So that'll be helpful. And uh, I think we'll send him over to France next. And then move up towards, like, maybe Spain, maybe. Or, you know, England, Denmark. Save the game. And the turn. And, uh... Uh oh. Hmm. Now this poses quite a bit of problem. I don't think. I think if we just. I don't think this counts on the current siege that we have. So I think we're okay, but as long as we don't like fight any more of them after this siege, we'll be fine. So we're going to have to make a ceasefire with Bologna after this, but uh, that's kind of harsh for him to order us to stop fighting the Holy Roman Empire already. It's kind of crazy, actually. Huh. But uh, troops have been built. We'll send our horsemen over here because it's really only practical to build horsemen early game in... Uh, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Not in... I can't even think. Oh yeah, only in castles, you know, horsemen are be able to be trained early. So, But uh, Italians do get the ability to train horsemen in their cities, but that's... I think that's only with a large city, so... That's what uh, We'll pull out some of these units here, and merge them here, and we'll combine these armies next turn, and then send them towards Florence. Will be our next objective. Build a couple more units of spears here to protect Genoa and keep their happiness up. And we'll take down this heretic. There we go. 95% chance is pretty good. And uh, blasphemer executed. Den Tupes. Trade increase. Servant of God. Nice job. Ivio Perego. So. 
pretty good. And uh, he's still got to stay there because it's pretty, pretty unholy. So probably try to convert it some more. And uh, diplomats move in. Did we move the spy? No, we did not. Let's move him. And there's Kane or Kyan or I don't know how you say that. But uh, we'll move him over to Denmark. Actually, we'll, we'll move him down here because I think we missed a couple of regions. So we'll check that out. And we'll save it in the turn. And uh, there's a bug on my screen. You can't see that, of course. But uh, it's annoying. And uh, Bride presented. I uh, I don't know why it asks you if your men can marry women. Because, I mean, it's usually a good thing. So I usually always say yes to that. I don't know if it's a bad thing sometimes. But, you know, whatever. And uh, Iraq Leon, we can build a small church there and in Zagreb we can build town watch uh, so we can train some troops there if Yours things get set. dangerous because it is on the border so we might need to train some troops there at some point point. and uh, everything went up for us so that's a good sign and we're still the military leader which is very good uh, if the Byzantine Empire becomes a military leader that's what I'm gonna get concerned oh and they're blocking us with uh, the oh and uh, Hungary is gonna try to take this uh, wooden castle down here, so that's pretty nice. Count your blessings, not your enemies, noble lord. So uh, they're kind of cutting into the Byzantine rebel settlements. We will not and I, these waters yeah, I guess the, I guess the rebels didn't attack us, which is really odd. Usually they eat up those. I I know if it was Rome Total War, our, our ships would be destroyed, but I guess on Medieval Two, their pirates are a little less. But my lord, this is impossible. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to siege Rhodes here, which is a wooden castle. And we should be able to take that. They don't have much garrison there. Uh, siege attacking might not be the best idea, but we may have to at some point. We'll see. If things start getting really bad with our money, we might have to siege attack it. And the next turn, we'll be able to load up our diplomat and go head over to Asia Minor with that. And uh, we can talk to Byzantines there, I believe, as well as like the Turks and other nations. So we'll do that. And, uh, things looking good. We got, like, th what was it, three turns in Bologna, so. Naturally. And we'll send this guy over to France. And, yeah. Probably do it for this Bredenian turn. And there we go. Mission, oh, no. I didn't think it counted on a... Shoot! Shoot! No! Oh no! Oh, abysmal at the Pavel. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, no. oh Milan already got executed. <laughs> Not executed. Excommunicated. Um. Mm, this could be tough. This could be tough because, uh, you know, France might declare war on us. Uh, at least Venice won't declare on ours because uh, I'm kind of under control of that. But uh, if I was playing as Milan only, then I'd be really scared about Venice declaring war on us. And uh, the Holy Roman Empire has just reason to attack us now because we're excommunicated and we're attacking their settlements. So this could turn out pretty bad, actually. And uh, you know how I said last episode that you should try not to get excommunicated? Well, here we go. We got excommunicated already. So, yeah. And uh, Milan was one of the better as far as relations with the Pope, and then just one mishap, and they're excommunicated. But uh, I don't know how long you stay excommunicated. I know it's not permanent, but uh, I think it's like maybe five, ten turns. I don't know. It's quite a while. Yeah, see, we're excommunicated. Our cardinal still in the car. Uh, our cardinal still counts as a cardinal. He still gets to be a cardinal, which is kind of nice, I guess. But, uh, yeah. That is a sharp blow to us. But uh, Venice is still in the good graces of the Pope, so Venice will come to our aid if things start to get bad. That is a nice thing about playing two nations. You don't really have to worry too much. As long as we both don't get excommunicated, then we're, then we're okay. Small church build in Arachleon, and we can build, I guess, land clearance would probably be the best. Raise the tax rate. And we'll send this guy to get this guy and go over here and 
deposit him. And go talk to the Byzantines and other stuff. And, uh... Pope telling us that... Lordia got excommunicated. And a cardinal from Denmark died. And we're, we're improving relations with Lordia. Uh, not that that actually matters. That's the that's the computer's perception of our of our relations, but uh, that doesn't actually matter at all. Yes, my so we're gonna send this guy up northward, and we're going to talk to France, as I said before. And these places still need a little more conversion. Eighty-eight and eighty-six. I can put them right on the border. Maybe they'll affect both. I don't know. And there's a large rebel force here, actually. Well, we don't really have the resources to engage that right now, so that'll have to wait, I guess. And uh, we got two more turns on Baloney, so it's looking good. And we're going to save it, and end the turn. And it's the Milanese turn again. And uh, Mil Milan is doing pretty good, or Lordia, I mean, is doing pretty good. In all sectors. Uh, we can build this Caraccio standard now, but uh, I don't think we really need to yet. Well, we might test that out in a bigger army, but uh, for now we don't really need to. And we could get the next level of City Watch so we can get some crossbowmen militia, but again, we don't really need that right now. So, Genoa will build some paved roads. Yeah, I'll, I'll build paved roads in both. Someone's in a Jacquio became a castle. We can build a mustering hall and then we'll get up to uh, Yeah, mustering hall then we'll go up to where we can get uh, We'll get some good barracks units in there and stuff Jacquio will be a nice little castle for us Kind of secluded. We we'll probably want a port in there pretty soon so that we can You know get out of there and uh, I think burn is gonna be our next main target for Milan It's got a nice garrison. It's a castle. It's in a major choke point from France and uh, the Holy Roman Empire, so that'll be a very nice acquisition if we can take that. But uh, first, we're going to try to take Florence here, and then with our Florence and Bologna army, I think I'll combine those two forces and then we'll go try to take uh, Bern to the northeast or northwest. And then, and then we might go help out Venice with the car with uh, Byzantine, or we have to fight the Holy Roman Empire some more. Not exactly sure. So we're going to save it, and, uh, and the turn. And see what's going on. Rebels haven't sallied forth. That's fine. Shut up, dog. Holy cow. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Come on. And uh, we're still in the lead of the military somehow. I'm not exactly sure how that's possible. But uh, Bredenia, we don't really need any of those buildings. Ugh. There's really nothing we can build. I guess we can build a grain exchange here. And that's our best option, so we'll do that. And as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to put it up to very high tax rate and it's a grab. So, there's that. And holy crap, dog. What are you doing? Uh, Things are looking pretty good. Jeez. Yes? Do you hear that? He's just going crazy right now. He going cray. But, uh... Yes, Lord. We'll ignore that for now. Actually, you know what? Since there's one turn left, I think... And the garrison is quite weakened. We can pull this huge Venice force back. Uh, this guy can try to stop us, but I don't think we can do it. And I think we'll pull back this army onto these boats. And then we might go... We might go attack the uh, Byzantines with this, actually. We might go try to take Corinth. Meet up with some Ragusan forces. And go try to take Corinth or something. Tomorrow, I think that it might be a good idea. And then we can do a two prong attack, maybe get some garrison over in Rhodes and have them go siege, you know, Byzantine parts in the east and try to do a two prong there. Uh, bride presented to the Milanese, so that's looking pretty good. Coming of age for Fusio Rossi, so that's pretty nice. He's an okay commander, I guess. Uh, we can send them over yes. to Genoa here. Because they don't have a thing. so They don't have a governor. And a uh, mustering hall built in a Jacquio. 
So next we can go for either garrison quarters or... Yeah, garrison quarters is probably smart. So now we can build some actual spearmen. Because peasants are pretty much useless. So we definitely need some actual spear troops in there. And uh, again, one turn until that is taken. So looking pretty good. General's bodyguard, pretty thick unit. But I think our unit is equally thick. Because we are the faction here. Yeah. Yeah, they're under siege, so they lose a little bit of their gears or their stuff. And, uh... Looks like Sicily has taken that island to the south of us. So it's a good thing we napped up Ejaculo when we did, because they would probably go up and take it. So... We're going to move our diplomat over to talk to Britain. Even though that won't really help us. But, uh... Whatever. And I'll keep this spy here, just kind of watch and burn. Uh, maybe, maybe one of the nations will attack it and try to weaken it. Hopefully they'll lose. That'll be nice. And I'll end the turn. And Heinrich the Chivalrous, Emperor Heinrich, has decided to sally forth. Uh, he's got an okay army, I guess. Can't really expect too much from a city, but... Uh, We'll engage. We have superior numbers, and uh, Italian militia is superior to German militia. So we should have a very clear advantage here. Should be able to take them out pretty easily. We just got to pay. pay <coughs> we just got to pay attention to their general unit, who can do some serious damage. And we'll load it up here. Jamming music. Hello. Hey. Ha, who, he, ha, he, ho. <laughs> That's what they say. And I'll take off all the siege equipment because we don't really need it. Don't know why I really built it if I wasn't planning to siege attack. But you never know. Uh, German army could have came down and, you know, hurt the garrison. And then we might have wanted to siege attack. So I always build it. I used to be foolish and never build it. Build siege equipment. But now I do all the time. Just in case. And I'll move our infantry in front the siege equipment here and our bowmen right in front of the siege equipment and we'll put our uh make sure skirmish was off put our general here and then we'll put our unit of mailed knights on the other side and we'll try to get some flanking charges with them because they don't i don't think they have any cavalry besides their general so uh, we have a slight cavalry advantage Ooh, oh listen to that music yeah 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 Oh, and there's their faction leader right there, coming out first. What a boss. And, uh... Yeah, our, our family member here is a pretty good commander, so... I'm not too worried about it. I think he is a better commander than the uh, German Emperor, so that's fine. And if we can take the city of Bologna, or Bologna, 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 that's the worst mix of the two, then we should be in pretty good shape. And hopefully you can get uh, unexcommunicated soon, or communicated. You can get recommunicated by the Pope soon. Because uh, I don't want holy wars cast on me or anything, so, yeah. And, uh... They're charging in with their spearmen, so I'm going to order attacks from all my spearmen on their line. There's, looks like they're sending in their general just to attack us in the front there. That's fine. We'll swing around our general and our mailed knights to go help with some of the action here. And we should be able to do this pretty well, I'd imagine. Our men are under attack. Oh, really? Our men are under attack. You don't, you don't say. You don't say. And there's a unit of peasants here we can take down with our mailed knights. I would imagine pretty quickly. And now this unit here is getting crunched a little bit by their general, but uh, we got our general moving in to help, and hopefully you should be able to take them out pretty easily. Mailed knights attacking these peasants, hopefully you should be able to take them down pretty easily. But uh, it's medieval two. I don't, I don't really know. Maybe peasants have better stats than medieval two. I'm not exactly sure. And the general's bodyguard is says only, yeah, we got spearmen. And our general's bodyguard. I, I can't quite can't find our general here. Uh, I hope he's safe because I don't see him. Hopefully he didn't already die. 
because that would be kind of fun. Although it would have told me. But uh, these peasants are still holding on, holy cow. And now we're going to drag, we're routing some of these guys over here, so we're going to drag our units into combat. So we're already starting to get the advantage, and these peasants are just holding on like nobody's business. You know they aren't doing anything to our mailed knights, really. Slight casualties. Half the enemy force and now uh, these units aren't doing anything, so we're going to send them into battle. And our general is definitely winning against their general. And uh, they only have a few men left. 16 to our 45, so that's looking pretty good. And a lot of their men starting to rout and fight to the death, so that's that's a very good sign. Means we should be able to take them out very easily. And Excellent. hopefully win the battle that way. Oh, yes! There we go. We took out their uh, faction leader. Uh, I think we took him prisoner, too. So, on um, Milan's next turn, we'll have to see if we can uh, ransom their faction leader. That'll be interesting. And uh, cut down some of these guys that are still fighting to the death here. And hopefully we can do that before they get to the city center. That'll be nice. And uh, we'll end the battle. Clear victory. And we only lost about 200 men. And we took, killed about 600. So that went pretty well. And we should have the city of Baloney. And that'll be all nice and good. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. And there we go. Noble Occupy Lord, the city. We have conquered. So Baloney is ours. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. So. That went well. Uh, Merchant's Essence. Oh, no. Oh, we lost the guy on the gold. Oh, come on. And I don't think we have enough money to really pay for another merchant. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh... I didn't build a grain exchange here. Well, that's dumb. Let's do that now. And uh, there's no guys on that Byzantine fleet. That's fine. And they have Smyrna over here. It looks like they just took that, actually. Which is also fine. Noble Lord. And uh, I think... Huh. There's no river crossing there. Well. So I, I guess we'll just blow them on the boats and have them go talk to Smyrna. To Trade rights and uh, map information. Sure, there we go. And, uh, see, they have this Selma here. They have two Selmas right here. Nikone, Nikaea, and, uh, Constantinople. Right there. Constantinople is a large city already, so that's pretty intense. And it looks like the Hungarians failed there. And then they only have the two settlements down here. So they only have five settlements, actually. So that's not too bad. Uh, us as Venice, we already have... We're about to have five ourselves, so... I think we have a pretty good shot. But they do, again, they do have a large city, so that is concerning. I mean, they probably have some really good militia there as well. Because uh, I, I do believe the Byzantines do get some good militia. And we'll send these armies, this army down. And uh, we'll build a unit here. And uh, next turn, we should be able to... Yeah, let's build some knights instead of the spearmen. And next turn, we should be able to uh, link those guys up. And we'll probably go sail down to Corinth. Uh, we might pick up that village if they haven't. But uh, that's all we're going to do today, guys. So thanks for watching this episode of Medieval 2 Total War. And uh, join us next time when uh, we start the attack on the Byzantines. Take roads and stuff. And as Milan, try to solidify northern Italy. And uh, try to get back in the Pope's graces. So thanks for watching this episode. And hope you join us next time. Brother Lord signing out. Peace.